I used to teach this by giving people the equation. That proved to be confusing, so I'm just going to try it using this method. So 4 grams of helium is 1 mole. And 1 mole is always 6 times 10 to the 23. Just like a dozen's always 12, a pair's always 2, and a gross is always 144, a mole is always 6 times 10 to the 23. It's just a number. So 8 grams of helium, well that's twice as many moles and twice as many atoms. So I've actually doubled the mass, and I'm going to do that to the other two as well. Whatever you do to one, you have to do to all of them. 12 grams of helium, well I've tripled the first line to get 4 grams to 12 grams. So I have to triple the other two as well. Whatever you do to one, you have to do to all of them. Let's look at another example. So for aluminium, 27 grams of aluminium is one mole, and one mole is always 6 times 10 to the 23, in this case aluminium atoms. So here's three questions. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answers. All right, so I've divided the t top line by 10. Each of them gets divided by 10. I've halved the second line compared to the first line. And the bottom line, well, that's a thousandth. Divide by a thousand compared to the top line. There are some trickier versions of this. Let's look at the carbon dioxide one. So carbon dioxide is 44 grams per mole. So that means 44 grams is one mole of carbon dioxide, which is 6 times 10 to the 23 carbon dioxide molecules. Let's set up our first line. So how many carbon atoms in 44 grams of carbon dioxide? Well, it's 6 times 10 to the 23. How many oxygen atoms in 44 grams of carbon dioxide? Well, it's CO2. So for every carbon dioxide, there's two oxygen atoms. So I need to double that. Other things the IB want you to know? If I've got 78 grams of calcium fluoride, so how many formula units of calcium fluoride? Well, formula unit is just CaF2 in this case, for ions. How many moles of calcium 2 plus ions? And how many fluoride ions? Well, formula unit is a similar to molecule. So luckily, calcium fluoride has a molar mass of 78 grams per mole. And we have 78 grams of it, so that's one mole. And one mole is always 6 times 10 to the 23. How many moles of calcium 2 plus? Well, there's one mole. There's one mole of calcium fluoride, so there must be one mole of calcium. But you know there's twice as many fluoride ions as calcium fluoride, formula units. That's what the little 2 means. So I have to double that number. OK, how many electrons in 12 grams of carbon 12? Well, 12 grams per mole, I've got one mole of carbon atoms, and every carbon atom has six electrons. So that means I must have six moles of electrons, which is 3.6 times 10 to the 24 electrons. And I like this one. What's the mass of one whatever atom? In this case, uranium-238. So writing out the equation like we've been used to, I've got to divide the atoms by 6 times 10 to the 23, and that gives me one atom. Oh, great. Let's divide the other two numbers by 6 times 10 to the 23. A common mistake is to give the wrong number uh, for the answer. Say the mass of an atom is 6 times 10 to the 23 grams, which is like the mass of the planets or something crazy like that. Make sure you get the right number uh, for the right answer.